Hey everyone, uh, if you have seen my uh, how to eat sushi video, um, then you probably have an interest in Japan and perhaps you plan on visiting someday. If you do, uh, you probably will not only be eating sushi, but you'll also need to take the train. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. So, today we are starting uh, from a place called Ibaraki, which is a little bit outside of Osaka. And uh, we're going to need to take the train to get to Osaka. So, how do you do that? Well, um, in Japan, what you need to do first is find out where you're going. Well, you probably know where you're going. Find out how much it costs to get to where you're going. And you do that by looking at the map where you buy your tickets. Here, you'll notice that a lot of the cities are, or a lot of the stops are written in English and in Japanese. Some of them, if you go up there, you'll see are only in Japanese. So if you're going to one of these stops, you're gonna need to ask somebody um, how to write it in Japanese and then match up the characters. So. Anyway, today we're going to a station called Umeda Station and from there I'll be taking the subway to further downtown. Um, so to get to Umeda, if you look at the map again, uh, where are we? We are here. Now if you look there that says Toweki and that means this station or you are here basically and you'll see that we are in Ibaraki-shi. So, from there, we want to go to Umeda. Now, where is Umeda? From there, this is Umeda. So, the price is 270 yen. All right, so now let's buy a ticket. We're gonna buy a ticket for 270 yen. So you come to the machine here. Oh, maybe. Ah, come to the machine. All right, now here, everything is in Japanese. So, what do you do when everything's in Japanese? You change it to English. Can we change it to English? <laughs> not on this one. Apparently not. Okay. Sometimes machines have English and sometimes they don't. If you get stuck with one... Does one of these have English? No, no English. No English. Huh. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> None of these machines have English. If it did have English, then you probably wouldn't need this video so much. So, this is what we're gonna do um, in Japanese. Now, it's pretty easy, and most of it is quite intuitive. Mm -hmm. You just have to stick your money in to the slot that takes the bill. Um, that's this one. So, you stick in a thousand yen. You can use coins here, if you like, uh, either way. And you... See, again, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you have the prices listed and you just choose 270, I think it was. Yes? So, 270. All right, so now I've got my change and I got my ticket. Okay, now that I've got my ticket, we're gonna go to the gate, I'm going to put it in, and the very important thing that you should never forget is that the ticket's gonna come back out on the other side of the gate and you have to grab the ticket again and keep it. Don't throw it away because you're gonna need it to get out at the other end at the destination station. Okay, so let's go to the gate. This part's not hard to figure out. You just take the ticket, stick it in here, and grab it, put it in a safe place. That's it, just uh, take the ticket, put it in a safe place, like your wallet. And, uh, and then get on the train. Now, um, you're gonna get on the train. The weird thing about Japan is they don't have eastbound or westbound. What they do have is um, bound for whatever station. So you have to know where you're headed. In our case, uh, we're going to Umeda. And there will be, uh, you'll see up on the tracks, there will be signs that say to Umeda uh, or bound for Umeda. That'll be fine. Um, if you're going to Umeda. But what if you're going to another station that's kind of halfway between here and Umeda? In that case, you'll need to check the map and make sure 
that you know what what direction that your train is going in. Uh, but for now, we're going to Meta, so it's not a problem. So let's go and check out the tracks. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we just came in the gate, and um, now at this station, we have two tracks on opposite sides. So uh, you need to know, sorry, the tracks are in the middle, and the platforms are on opposite sides. So where are we gonna go? We have to check the signs to see that we're going up the right escalator. Here we have on the left, it's bound for Osaka, and on the right, we have for Kyoto, Katsura, and Arashima. So, we want to go left, Osaka. Um, the station is Umeda, which is not written in English, but in Japanese it's written Umeda, right next to the kanji for Osaka. So, um, you might need to, you know, study a few kanji when you're visiting Japan to make sure that you know where you're going. Uh, or if you're not studying them, then at least uh, write them down uh, or have them somewhere written or take pictures with your phone. Whatever method you use, uh, you're going to need one way or another to refer to the destination you're going to. And it's always a good idea to have anyway, then you can ask somebody to help you if you need help. Uh, so let's go up to the trains. Okay, so here we are on the platform. Um, now, often what you'll see is like this train, uh, this train, this station has two platforms, right? One going to Kyoto and one going to Osaka. This platform goes to Osaka, and you've got two tracks, uh, one on each side of this platform. Okay, so uh, what you can do is have a look at the sign, and you'll see that uh, this one says local. And that one says Limited Express. Now, right now it's in Japanese, but it'll change back to English in a second. Uh, there it is, Limited Express. Limited Express is faster than local, so if you are going to, let's, the local one stops at every stop, basically. Limited Express stops at a couple of stops. Um, I don't know which ones exactly, it doesn't matter. Uh, but if you're going to Umeda, either train will do, but of course the Limited Express will be much faster. Uh, if you feel like taking your time and, uh, you know, taking this, the scenic route, sort of, you know, just looking at what's passing by you, you can take the local. It's up to you. Or, obviously, if you're going to a train station that's between Limited Express stops, take the local because that's what you need to do. Um, so, yeah, so be careful of that. And uh, if you're going, you know, if you're going a long way um, from here, Umeda is not that far. But if you're going to Kyoto, for example, you definitely want to take the Limited Express, not the local. That's going to take forever. So um, try to watch for that when you get on the train. Have a look. It'll tell you the time at which the next train stops in. That's one really cool thing about Japan is uh, the trains are always on schedule. You can almost set your watch to it. Um, so that's it. And um, if you... Yeah. Sometimes it'll actually tell you the stops and uh, here, I don't know if they have English, I can read it in Japanese, they have Awaji and Juso, so the Limited Express train will be stopping at Awaji and Juso on the way, um, but only those two stations, nothing else. So if you're not going to one of those two stations, take the local. Uh, sometimes you'll see it, it's in English as well. In this case, it doesn't seem to be. I haven't seen any English. So, uh, again, you might need to know what kanji. Um, you might need to know the kanji for the stop you're going to. Um, but there's our train, so let's get on. Okay, so now we have arrived in Osaka at Umeda Station. Uh, I got my ticket, and uh, for sure, you don't throw it away or misplace it. Uh, and now, I'm going to need it to get out. So, same way we came in, I'm going to put it in the gate, but this time it's going to swallow my ticket and it's not going to spit it back out at me. So, that's it. End of trip, uh, just like this, okay? There you go, the gate opens and lets you out. And that's it. So now I'm at my destination. Uh, now tonight I'm going to a place called Shinsai Dashi, which is 
downtown Osaka. Because, I mean, this is sort of a down. There's two major centers in Osaka. Really. There's Meda, uh, which is the northern part. Uh, there's a lot of shops and, and restaurants and places to go out here. And then there's uh, there's Minami area, which means south. This is the northern part. Minami is the south. Um, and the station we are going to is Shinsaibashi. Um, so now we're going to walk from. We just took the Hankyu train. Now we're going to go to the subway. So how do we get to the subway from here? Um, well, we're going to have to read some signs. So luckily, there's a lot of English for this type of thing. And here we are looking for the subway, and there it is. Now, notice that there are three lines here. Um, Midosuji line, the Tanimachi line, and the Yotsubashi line. Um, we want the Midosuji line. So, um, you just follow the arrows, and I don't need to film all that because it's pretty easy. Uh, just follow the arrows until you get to your subway station, or your subway, your, your line, and then you'll be at your station. Uh, so, let's go, and then I'm going to show you how to use tickets for the subway, which is very similar, but there's one more thing I'm going to show you um, that is actually a little easier to do. Uh, so, don't go anywhere. Stick with me. Okay, so uh, here we are. We have just walked from the train station. Um, I call it a train because it's above ground. I know that subways are technically trains, but I'm calling it a subway because it's below ground. Uh, so we just walked from the train station, um, Umeda, from the Umeda train station on the Hankyu line. And we just got here to the subway station, also called Umeda. Um, and now we're going to take the subway from here to Shinsai Bashi. Uh, I think it's like four stops, I'm not sure. By the way, if you're ever in Osaka, um, the JR station, also in the same area, is not called Meda. They call it Osaka Station. So it's all the same area, uh, but it's called Osaka Station instead of Umeda. So be careful of that if you ever happen to be coming here to Osaka. Okay, so anyway, now we're here in the subway station, the Meda subway station, Midosuji line, that's the one we're taking to get to Shinsai Bashi, and we need to buy another ticket. This map, however, is all in Japanese. Now, if you don't speak Japanese, well, if you did speak Japanese, you wouldn't be watching this video, probably. Um, so, let's go and see if there's another map with some English. Look at that, there's English right here. So, this makes things a little easier. Now, again, look for the big red uh, station. Up there it says you are here. So that's where we are. And we want to go to Shinsaibashi, which is right there. So that's Shinsaibashi. And we can see that it's gonna cost 240. You can see that it's going to cost 240 yen. So let's take out some money. I've got a 500 yen. However, this time, imagine for a moment that you're in a rush, or you don't have an English map, or maybe there is a map and you don't have time to look up, you know, where you're going or how much it's going to cost. If you're uh, if if you're in that kind of situation where you don't know the actual price. What you can do is this, buy the cheapest ticket available. So stick the money in. Now here, you'll also notice it's all in Japanese, but this is a cool machine because you press the English button and magically everything turns to English. So you can see Kitakyu line, Kintetsu line, subway, ticket card. Now we are using the subway and we want a ticket. We want one ticket, you can buy two or three at the same time, okay? And these here are the prices, okay? So, like I said, it's 240 yen to go to Shinsai Bashi, but let's say I don't know that. I'm not sure how much it is. What you do, you buy the cheapest ticket, 180. Now I've got the cheapest ticket. I get my change and I use this. At the other end, I'm going to show you what to do with this ticket. Uh, so, just like with the train, 
We take the ticket and we go to the gate. We stick the ticket in the gate, take it on the way back out. Let's go. Okay, so once again, grab your ticket. Take it on the way out. Okay. Um, now you will need to know which line to go to. So in this case, we are going south. But remember, there's no southbound. We don't know what south is. So you have to know in what direction your train is. If you look at the map, you can see the train, the, the, the stations on the ends of the lines. Um, here, this side is for Namba, Tenoji, and Nakamozu. This is the one we want. Shinsaibashi is on this line. Okay. Um, I know that because I live here. If you don't know that, uh, what you can do is check out this right here. So you can see Shinsaibashi is on this line. Leaving from Omega, going that way, that's where we're going. If you look at the other one, this is the train going north, train, subway, whatever, and you can see that it goes to Nakatsu and all these other stations. This is not going where I want, so I'm not going to go down there. Um, so yeah, so let's go back that way. And that's it. I'm going to get on the subway, and then I'll show you what to do after I get out. That's it. So uh, don't go away. Okay, uh, here we are in Shinsai Bashi. That's the name of this station. And remember that I bought a ticket for 180 yen. The actual price to get here from Meta was 240, I believe. So this is what's going to happen if I try to go out with this ticket. Try it. Sorry. Okay, so here I am with a ticket that is not going to be. Uh, it's not going to let me out. See, the gate doesn't open. Spat the ticket out back. Uh, spat the ticket back out at me. So, what you need to do is you need to get a fare adjustment. That's over here. Now, uh, it's pretty obvious what type of you know, just by the look of the machine, you can see that it's a fare adjustment machine. Um, this one happens to have English, so that's kind of cool. Let's try that. Oh wait, maybe it's better not to use the English one because this is for people who might need to learn how to use a Japanese machine. We'll just keep it on Japanese. How's that? So, you stick this where it says ticket. Okay. Okay. Now here, you don't really need to understand it. You can see that it's asking for more money, 60 yen. So, that's what I'm going to do. That's 50. And that's 60. So automatically, it'll give me a fare adjusted ticket that I can now use to leave. That's what I'm gonna do. So now, when I stick this in, like magic, it opens. And again, the ticket doesn't come back out this time. That's okay, I don't need it. And that is how you ride, uh, or how you pay for and ride a subway and train. So, I hope that helped. Uh, if you have any comments or questions or whatever, uh, anything, maybe I forgot. I don't know. Might have forgotten some stuff. If you have any comments, please leave them in the. Got bumped there. Um, if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section, and I will try to answer them the best I can. Um, if uh, if you're going to Japan, have a good time. Now you know how to ride the train at least one way. Anyway, it was just to buy a ticket. Uh, another thing that I forgot to mention earlier. If uh, you come to Japan, what you should be doing is, uh, if you're going to be doing a lot of traveling, now that doesn't help you with the subways, but if you're going to be going from city to city, I, re I highly recommend getting a JR Rail Pass. Um, I don't have one and I can't buy one because I'm in the country. You must buy it before coming to Japan. And there's lots of information out there. If you do a search for JR Rail Pass, you'll get lots of pages telling you how to buy it in your country before coming to Japan. Uh, you'll have to come to Japan and then you'll have to exchange your ticket or whatever your receipt. But um, I don't know how to do that because I didn't do it when I came here the first time. And now I'm not, I'm not able to do it So because um, I live here. So it won't let me do it.
you have to live outside of the country and you have to buy it outside of the country. So that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, that's it. Bye.